everybody. I hope everybody is doing good. Um, I'm doing fine. I had a funny incident that happened to me the other day and um, it was hilarious in the moment and after it happened um, me and my husband realized that it we needed to give some serious thought to some certain things and so first I'm gonna tell you what happened and then I'm gonna tell you why it provoked all this thought so on the weekends my daughter has the store as you know and um, recently we started training my other daughter to work there as well and uh, that would give my my newly married daughter some weekends off so um, as routine we often stop by like an hour before close me and my husband just to help them wrap everything up and um, in this particular case um, my other daughter who's new was was her first um, weekend alone without us there without anybody else you know that was has been working for a long time and so we just stopped by to help her close up and it was an hour before close and um, we usually have the shop door open in the summer so that it's more welcoming to customers to you know inviting them in and um, so we were all inside. We had a customer in there that we were talking to. He had just made some purchases and he was getting ready to head out. And um, But before doing so, he was staying there talking with us all. And um, he all of a sudden looked out of the corner of his eye and looked and did a double take and then asked us, was that just a squirrel that came in? Well, in passing, a bus went by and let off its air brakes, and it must have been right at the time that a squirrel was passing by our open door. So, the squirrel came rushing in, <clears throat> ran past the customer, and then into the store further. And of course, you know animals, they never find their way out as easily as they found their way in. So, now we have a squirrel in the store, and, um, my husband and the other male worker that's in the store started trying to get the animal to head back out the door so they were trying to like in a way shoo it or chase it to go back out <clears throat> of course that didn't work and now the animal is flying from rack to rack and we're just trying to stay out of the way I'm hooked up to the oxygen cord. Me and my other daughter are screaming because this thing is flying everywhere. We're now on chairs and the counter, but that isn't even safe because it's flying through the air, jumping from thing to thing. And we just don't want to be one of the things that it jumps on. And so I'm trying to stay out of the way, but I'm also hooked up to the cord. And you know, when you try to do anything faster, you get excited you get short of breath even more than normal. So, after going through this whole thing for a while, and you know, all the screaming, chasing, finally my other daughter and her husband came, and he was able to catch the squirrel and get it out of the store. I think we just wore it out by that time, so it had given up. But um, in any case, he was able to catch the squirrel, get it out of the store, and we all laughed for hours about this. But then later on as we got home, me and my husband, we began to talk, and it brought us to a realization, or me personally to a realization, and that is that um, with crisis situations, we really need to put more thought into how we're going to handle certain things. And in the light of Harvey, Hurricane Harvey that's going on now, um, we're not in that area, but it just got us to thinking about if we were in an area like Harvey or we had flooding or um, long time with power outages or if we were out somewhere and in an area with an active shooter, you know, just all of the things that are going on in the world right now, um, that crisis with the squirrel, which was hilarious, um, brought me to the realization of how vulnerable I am because I can't run or 
you know, do the normal uh, flea situations and stuff like that. So, you know, it just really got us to thinking about how we would handle things differently, what we would do in certain situations, like Hurricane Harvey and this and that. And um, it just had us really sit and evaluate things. And we came up with um, so, some solutions that uh, gave us, you know, really now a plan of action um, if something like any of those situations were to happen. Um, you know, whether it's a natural disaster like Hurricane Harvey or if we were out somewhere and there was um, something going on you know, an active shooter situation or something like that going on, we kind of really sat down and took a hard look at what would be the best ways for us to deal with these situations and try to keep ourselves safe in the process. And um, I just thought this was a good time to, you know, mention this with um, everyone watching who's tuned into my channel, you know, because it does take some extra consideration and um, thought about what you would do, you know, if your electric was out for a long period of time and um, you're on oxygen or what you would do if you were out and there was something that you had to get out of a situation quickly, how you would respond to that or, you know, what your self-preservation method would be. So. Um, yeah, I just, I just found that that squirrel just kicked it into another gear for us. But it was a good laugh, and I wish I had it on video. Unfortunately, um, it, it did not happen that way. Uh, a lot of, there are a couple blind spots in the store, um, and a lot of the chasing that took place took place in those blind spots. And then the other camera that was up um, in the store that was able to catch anything was immediately knocked out of whack when the squirrel started climbing um, way up on ledges that are like near our ceiling and stuff. So that other camera got knocked um, sideways. And so then it was just looking at um, the corner of the wall so yeah that <laughs> unfortunately we don't have any video footage I'm sure it would have been absolutely hilarious and um, I would have loved to share that with you but um, yeah unfortunately not so I guess what I wanted everyone to do is kind of you know talk to the people that they're with and um, so whoever your, you know, significant other is or if, if it's just you, um, really contemplate what your, you know, stay alive plan is and um, figure out, you know, for all different types of scenarios, everything from fires in your house to, um, you know, being out and something going on and um, natural disasters, just kind of think of everything, even if it's not normal for your area, because nowadays things are so out of whack, you just never know. So, you know, kind of get your plans of action, and um, when you run through all these plans of action in your head over and over again, you want to get to where you know what you're going to do so that when you get in a crisis moment, you don't have to think about it that it's second nature because you've already thought about it so much that, you know, just your subconscious is going to kick in, you're going to do what you need to do, and it's going to hopefully get you through the situation safely, and you'll come out on the other side. Okay, so um, that is what I'm hoping this video is going to do, is, is get people really thinking about this stuff. So until the next time... It was great to talk to everyone again. Again, if you haven't already, um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And um, if you have topics that you want to hear talked about, or if you have any ideas or things that you want to share, please comment on um, below the videos. I'd 
love some input. I love it when you guys talk to me and let me know what's going on and how you feel about things. So um, until the next time, thanks. Bye.